You have two jobs still remaining in this trial. First, you are asked to punish Alex Jones, the man who's not sitting here today and who can't face you. Secondly, you are asked to deter Alex Jones from ever doing this awfulness again to another family or another person and to deter others who may want to step into his shoes. That's such a big thing to understand and I know it has to be enormous in terms of looking at you or yourselves as the one who is given the task to do it. But I want to make very clear here that you have that opportunity and that opportunity is one that may never come again. You have the ability today, truly you have the ability today to stop this man from ever doing this again, from continuing to tear the fabric of our society apart for the great monetary gain that he has received thus far and to send a message again to those who desire to do the same. We've said it in this courtroom before, and I'll say it again. Speech is free. Lies you pay for. With your verdict, you hold such great power. You do. However, it's the power that you do not hold that I find to be the most compelling when it comes to rendering your final verdict. I say that because make absolutely no mistake, you do not have the power to teach Alex Jones a lesson. You do not have the power to change Alex Jones. And you do not have the power to make Alex Jones care. He will not be taught, he will not care, and he will not change. That has become so incredibly obvious to us on the inside of this courtroom, and for that matter, on the outside of this courtroom, what he has done. <clears throat> Throughout this trial, he hasn't been here except for the times, I guess maybe, when he's not selling his supplements. <clears throat> but if you will recall when Neil Heslin sat on that stand and shared with you some of the most intimate moments of his life, Alex Jones contemporaneously at that moment was on his radio show telling a national audience, a worldwide audience, that that man was slow and that he was on the spectrum. I, I, saying that is vile, standing here right now, is honest to God probably the largest understatement that I could ever make with mere words. It demonstrates that Alex Jones does not care, that Alex Jones will not change, and that Alex Jones certainly has not and will not learn his lesson. So many times Jones has been given the opportunity to stop, to just literally to just stop saying what you're saying. So many times he's been given that opportunity to right a wrong. <clears throat> he says, I'm sorry, and he immediately, after he says, I'm sorry, says something awful 
something defamatory. <clears throat> Alex Jones doesn't want it both ways. Alex Jones wants it always, every way. And if you allow him to have it that way, that's the way he will have it. He will talk out of both sides of his mouth for the rest of his life to the detriment of our society and other good families like that. One, two, three, four, maybe five. I count five cameras on the inside of this room. I'd like to think that those cameras are here on the inside of this courtroom because they are here to support Neil and Scarlett. I would like to think that those cameras are on the inside of this courtroom because they care in seeing a wrong righted. I would love to think that. It is not why they are here. They are here for this man, his attorneys, and his show. That is it. And it sickens me to know that that is the honest-to-God truth. <clears throat>